Katie Price was spotted shopping for a wedding dress as she makes the final touches to her and fiancé Carl Wood's Las Vegas ceremony. The model and author, 43, held hands with Cara, 32, as they went shopping at David's bridal store in Sin City, and rocked casual looks ahead of their rumored wedding. Katie wore a pair of bright red Louis Vuitton joggers, teamed with cozy black boots and a black t-shirt, with her highlighted hair loose around her shoulders. Star Carl had his tattoos on show while wearing a classic white tee, paired with beige joggers and white trainers, and kept his aviator sunglasses firmly on his face to avoid glare from the bright sunshine. In pictures obtained by the Mail Online, Carl was seen being handed a mask by one of the shop assistants at the bridal store, so he was able to adhere to their face covering policy. Katie then removed her mask once inside the shop, and perused several wedding dresses, before leaving with a small bag. Her shopping trip comes hours after she claimed in an Instagram video she would be relocating to Las Vegas once she'd married Carl. Celebrating her reunion with former celebrity Big Brother star Cammie Lee, Katie told the camera she wanted to leave the UK and live in America with her kids, and film a new series that would focus on the reality star finding her a place to live. Eventually, me and Carl are going to move out here with the kids, we're going to work it out and you, Cammy, are going to find me a house, she said, according to Mail Online. Katie later insisted she was in the US to visit Carl's parents and wasn't getting married, despite obtaining a marriage license. She said she wanted to see the sights, including the Grand Canyon, and wasn't in Vegas to get drunk. I'm not here to party, I'm not interested in the partying side at all, she said in a video filmed at Cammy's house. The soon to be newlyweds shared pictures from their trip to Vegas which Carl called his second home, as they had breakfast together overlooking the Grand Canyon. The holiday comes after the mother of five left rehab following a terrifying car crash, and was warned she faces prison after pleading guilty to drink driving and admitting taking drugs.